much. Okay, yes. So first of all, I welcome you to the session. And good afternoon. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. I'm doing great. How about you? Great, great. Oh, I'm on cloud nine as today. Oh, okay. Monday and yesterday I have completed Monday 6K over YouTube. So everything seems perfect. So I'm glad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for asking me. <laughs> okay. Same yeah, yeah. So, uh, since we are meeting for the very first time, first, yes, yes, introducing yourself, yeah. I am Ajita. Actually, I am Ajita. I am from Kerala. Okay. I am working as a Kerala. I am a, uh, actually I am a freelancer. I am a teacher. I am running a, uh, an, a a tuition center, and mm -hmm. also I am a baker and a YouTuber as well. Many things are there. Okay. Yeah. Multi, uh, yeah. They yeah. are multitask at a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the time? What's the time? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of course. Time, yeah. Right? I'm happy whenever I see people like you who are at this age without uh, thinking about the age, without thinking about the gender. They just always, you know, strive to do more for the society, strive to achieve more. That's great. Yeah. That inspires yeah. a lot out there. And yeah. my YouTube channel, people will get to know. People will, you know, people who are making excuses every single day. As soon as they wake up, yeah. they oh, I didn't get much sleep. I'm not feeling well or I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. This will be something inspiring that will motivate them. Great. Thank you so much for connecting to me for, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I am so accelerated to see you. And thank you for so, I'm so blessed to see you and uh, converse with you. I right. have seen lots of videos. Yeah. Thank you. All the videos are excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I want to know, uh, when did you start watching my videos actually? When did you get the recommendation actually from YouTube? Actually, I think uh, one year back, mm -hmm. I started watching your video. I have been watching your video one year back since mm -hmm. over one year. Okay, okay. Then you are the right person to give me the feedback. First, give me the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I have. I am not a good uh, that position to <laughs> give you feedback because I am a beginner. One year, so you must have observed. And you must yeah, have yeah. yes. Hi, ah, your journey is excellent, madam. Pam. Your journey is excellent and yeah, fantastic. I really a uh, big fan of you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. It means a lot really. Uh, this is uh, your way of speaking. Everything is excellent. Way of speaking, your spontaneous uh speaking skill of uh, English of of uh, yeah, everything is it means you have even watched my clapping and English sharing videos too with tutors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, great, great, great. Nanda Gumar, uh, Nanda Gumar sir, and uh, so many videos I have watched. See, watched. Mm. So many videos. Okay, okay. So do you get free time, laser time for your hobby? Uh, my uh, my hobbies are uh, always changed nowadays. My uh, early hobbies are uh, reading. Uh, reading. Uh, I am voracious reading in my childhood. I'm always not in English books, but in my uh, native language that is Malayalam. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, uh, that uh, hobbies are changed a lot. Now, mm -hmm. I uh, whenever I have free time, I watch the English uh, podcast or uh, conversational videos. That is my hobby. Okay, so that you is are my current to... hobby. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. You are our assist reader and you are versatile too. Great. Nowadays, uh -huh. but, nowadays, but nowadays I don't get enough time to read uh, because uh, I have to do lot, lots of things at a time. So mm. didn't get enough time to read. But my sons are, I have, uh, by the way, I'm a mother of two grown-up sons. Both are IT professionals uh, working in Ernagulam in Papa. Uh, so, and uh, my younger son, he, she, he is uh, a voracious reader. He has uh, a, a good collection of books. 
so he always said that mom uh, how do you why do you uh, read books why don't you read books to improve your mm-hmm. english but i don't get enough time to read so that's a problem okay okay and does he read in english yeah yeah he mm-hmm. has a uh, lots of english books yeah yeah Oh wow! I would love to know his genre, but maybe you are but not. But I don't. Uh, nowadays, yeah, nowadays I don't get enough patience to read that books because mm-hmm. I have to do a lot of things mm-hmm. in between. I have to do the chore works also. Yes, absolutely. household works. Yeah, yeah, so I don't get a uh, patience at this time. Okay, I cannot relate with it actually, as I don't do also chores. But <laughs> in future, I don't know what will happen. How will I manage uh, the things? Uh, ma'am, tell you something about you. I know you uh, a little bit, but no, uh, a little bit more. Yeah, you want to? Uh, I want to tell you, please. Please yes, give sure. me an introduction to you, ma'am. Sure, sure, sure. In nutshell, I can in nutshell I can tell you. Uh, as you know, my name is Rajnik. I'm from Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. and uh, i have done my graduation in korean language from jnu new delhi currently i provide pay sessions to beginners and to intermediates too recently i have started to providing to intermediates and now i i enjoy that again and i run a youtube channel simultaneously i work upon my communication skills to in order to become advanced speaker and at the same time i, I aspire to become a successful youtuber Uh, I'm a one-time Josh Talk speaker too, as I have shared my journey there over Josh Talk. Though yeah. at that time I was not, I guess, that much good at English because it's been it was a year ago, so I was just learning the language. But the, yeah, I shared. Uh, apart from that, my hobbies are reading books and talking to people from diverse background, diverse culture. Yeah, that's all about me. So, uh, one. Uh, I would like to ask you one question, ma'am. Why you choose Korean language as your main? Uh, in your higher studies, why it's uh, open so many opportunities of uh, your passion towards Korean language? Why mm-hmm. you choose that uh, language? When I chose, okay. when I started doing, that was a random decision. Like I didn't put much thought into it. I just uh, picked the language, and I just wanted to do something different. And luckily, I must say, fortunately, I got admission in Korean. Language. that was the thing but now after pandemic i realized that uh, i have really keen interest in languages so i want to pursue my career now in languages so maybe that's why that happened to me <laughs> luckily that i have done my graduation now again i am doing everything in languages so maybe that is really i guess um privilege for me that i already did my graduation in korean but that time it was just random i wanted to you know explore other uh departments here uh, ma'am you can easily converse to uh, korean people uh, converse with you, uh, in korean language uh nowadays uh, sometimes i feel uh, difficulty as i have stopped talking in korean to be honest i don't have people around me obviously <laughs> and uh, when yeah. i was there in jnu it's a problem I, yeah yeah i had the environment like Korean seniors, juniors, and classmates, and then professors, even native speakers were also there. So we used to speak. We used to give presentations. Even we, you know, played dramas too in Korean. So that time I used to speak uh, much. But now I just watch or consume content over YouTube in order to be in touch with the language, in order to get the words, the things. But I don't speak, so I, I don't think so that I'm that much fluent now in Korean. Yeah, and but nowadays, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. nowadays, but Korean uh, as a trend, Korean food, the Korean uh, music, mm-hmm. dance, everything is trending. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, yeah, uh, this Have is your passion. Some, like how how do you know Which, about Korean that that is in trend, the dance and the K-pop? Everything the through K-pop. the YouTube. Everything you through YouTube. Mm-hmm. YouTube is yes. a fantastic platform. It's uh, uh, gives so many uh, yeah information mm. uh, around the world. Get information around the world. Yeah, through it. Uh, Agree. Yes. Agree. But I'm not. I also watching K dramas, K pop. Not. I'm just language lover. I must say, I'm not fan of. 
drama but so drama. many uh, uh, series and dramas are on netflix and also in hotstar right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. did you watch that uh, dramas you found it to watch that dramas or series Korean dramas no, I, or series? No, no, I don't watch dramas. I just uh, watch where uh, maybe non-natives are talking or maybe creating videos in uh, Korean. Not dramas, basically. I don't have that much patience to watch K-dramas. I have patience to consume English content. So I can watch English movies or English web series. Nowadays, even I'm not watching English too. I just consume content over YouTube itself, like speeches or maybe podcasts or maybe uh, any audio books, something like that. So nowadays, I just don't watch any drama series. Yeah. yeah Ma'am, you are originally from Rajasthan, but currently, where, where are you from, Ma'am? Currently, yeah, where are you I'm staying? At, at my home in Shireganganagar itself. Okay. How was the weather, Ma'am? The uh, extreme part or? Yes, How was it, the climate it, there? it is getting hotter and hotter day by day. And the climate. But night is very cold. Yeah, yeah, unpredictable. Night. Because yesterday night it was raining and in the morning it was like too hot. I uh, cannot even go outside. So, yeah, mixed one. Maybe changing, the weather is changing nowadays. Hmm. Anything you uh, want to ask me? Any questions? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Tell me about uh, how are you learning the language and exactly first uh, tell me when did you start learning the language? Uh, I am very passionate about this language, ma'am, uh, till uh, since my child, my childhood, hmm. and uh, actually I am start learning this language or more focus this language uh, two years back. Actually, hmm. the spoken I give I give more focus to spoken English. I give. Uh, uh, I started uh, two years back, but in my uh, school days, I was uh, it's a, a different story. My story is a little bit different. I'm studying in an English medium school since seventh standard. After that, uh, I am shifted. I was shifted to uh, non English medium school because of okay. some reasons. My parents decided to shift it to a non English medium school uh, where my, my mom working as a teacher. Uh, so at that time we are not aware that how to uh, if, if how to become an uh, English uh, fluency how to acquire English fluency we, we don't aware uh, that uh, at that time and mm -hmm. schools are not uh, you uh, give more importance to uh, speaking they are always importance to writing only mm -hmm. and uh, I am also uh, I I have only one goal to getting good marks in English. That's yeah. all. I, I don't know how to uh, reach that position. So, fluency, I don't know. So, and also the the thing is, uh, the schools are not giving only the uh, more focus to speaking level. Mm -hmm. uh, writing is, uh, they give more importance to writing. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, but uh, I am a patient who is a person who is speaking uh, if, if a person who is speaking a, a fluent fluent fluency or speaking good English, I am a big fan of that person, and I am uh, looking very respectfully that person, looking that person. So uh, uh, I have uh, 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 I have a passion to learn English, but I don't know how to reach that position. But thirty years gone, and. Uh, uh, getting married after uh, we have so many responsibilities and once your responsibility is completed, not all, uh, fully, once your responsibility completed, you have enough time to uh, get uh, uh, focused or working on that uh, your passion. Right. Yes. So I get that uh, time. Uh, yeah. For, uh, now my uh, age is 50. So now uh, I get that time to uh, chase my dream or to polish my skills mm. or uh, uh, learning new things. That's the things happened. Okay. This is the story, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you, when you talk about the past incidents, keep in mind that oh, everything should be in past, like schools were, you said we don't aware. Oh, we yeah. were okay. not aware. Uh, we yeah. were not aware. Yeah. I, am a, I am a person who speaks. No, I am a person who speaks. Okay. I'm a person who speaks. 
and okay. we have responsibilities no we had responsibilities and after completing all the responsibilities now yeah, i am i am actually a little bit nervous <laughs> because this is my third section <laughs> and like yeah Yeah, you yeah. don't. Uh, I am just like your. I, mean, I am not. I, I I don't have an environment to speak with, uh, English with uh, anyone. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to connect you people. So this mm -hmm. is my third section. So I know everything. The grammar, everything is I I perfect. But uh, implemented to the sentence, I forget everything. Yeah. Yeah. It, it happens it happens and it is a gradual process learning is a gradual yeah. process so be patient with it and keep practicing every day so um, did you talk to many did you talk to any other youtuber or any other co learner uh yeah to, uh, one or two persons not uh, they are not youtubers but they are uh, co learners they are in the yeah yeah others yeah mm -hmm. one or two persons no one can be person to our people to i talk to yeah. two people okay yes okay so uh, where did you talk how did you connect to them if they are not youtubers i uh, through uh, sometimes we uh, connect through whatsapp hmm? connect through whatsapp okay. yeah yeah is there any particular group where you have uh, joined yeah, yourself i, I have uh, i have a group uh, uh, yeah i have a group here so some friends we we make a group uh, we are all uh, friends so we make a group and converse yeah. and it's great that you have some friends who are again willing to learn the language because people don't have friends yeah. they have they always laugh at them or they always you know stop yeah. why are you behaving like a native like an angrage not even native like an angrage you know they give the name particularly Are you are behaving like an English? You can speak even our mother tongue. You can speak even Hindi. So people, you know, discourage their friends. I have seen or I have heard from many people as I have talked to more than five hundred learners. I guess so. Then that's good that you uh, have a community. Uh, ma'am, uh, ma excuse me, ma'am. One minute. Last uh, week or uh, two weeks before, I spoke to one YouTuber. Mm -hmm. uh, through Skype, ah, uh, YouTube channel's name, uh, I forget that channel's name. Oh uh, yeah, one one YouTuber. I right? talk to one YouTuber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So how was the experience? Did you feel nervous then too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nervous. Ah, uh, we talk about a uh, general conversation. So ah, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So not that much uh, nervous at that time. Okay, so now while talking to me, you have to look at me. Okay, you while answering, yeah. you are looking at somewhere else. <laughs> you have to look at me. Okay, now this is your task to look at me, so you can work upon your non-verbal communication. Okay, yeah. yes. Uh, so what kind of videos you watch over YouTube? Uh, ma'am. Uh, Here, once okay. again, I don't understand your question. Once again, uh, what kind of videos you watch on YouTube? Conversation mainly conversation videos then yeah that then English uh, podcast yeah uh, English podcast. Hmm. So who is your favorite mainly. podcast? Podcast uh, uh, Tiffany Tiffany you know Tiffany Tiffany hmm? USA. Ah uh, yeah Tiffany. Oh so you watch that excellent. Yeah. Maybe. Let me search it right away. I I haven't heard even I'm. Uh, Listening to the name for the very first time. What is the name? Tiffin. Tiffany. 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 T i f f a n y. Yeah. 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 Uh, any Indian Rini, podcaster, if you can mention, Rini Rose Matthew. Rini Rose Matthew. Okay, yeah, I also watch her videos, and she is remarkable. I like her very much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Rini Rose Matthew. Uh, then uh, T O P uh, T English official. I uh, I, I attend a group session with uh, with uh, T O English official. 
personality it could be any famous person any famous uh, celebrity it could be any of your family members too so you have to just explain the person into uh, different categories first is appearance how he or she looks like like if he or she has long hair short hair big eyes short eyes color of the eye you can mention or height you can mention the style of dress you can mention appearance overall second is personality trait what kind of person he is so that is your task you if you want you can okay. take one minute to gather your uh, thoughts your vocabulary why i give one minute because people have an issue that they are not able to use vocabulary so now if you have nice yeah. words recall those words so you can use while speaking okay i will talk about shobana shobana actress okay actress shobana uh, yeah Why? is a famous actress in uh, her, uh, malayalam and uh, tamil tamil industry film industry he is an excellent dancer too mm -hmm. and yeah he, and he acts uh, so many famous films uh, and also he achieves so many uh, awards mm -hmm. and also uh, excellence awards okay Mm -hmm. and yeah and he uh, he is very talented in uh, dancing uh, uh, especially bharatanatyam mm -hmm. uh, mohin uh, kuchipudi something like that mm -hmm. uh, he actually malayali but he is staying in uh, chennai he stays in and, yeah he stay uh, stays uh, sorry he stays in chennai and uh, he say uh, he 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 have a uh, she sorry he has, she has a na dance school too in chennai okay. and yeah and i i have now i have to describe shobana how to how looks like okay she is a tall woman uh, with a big eyes and short hair not middle hair not not short not too short or long mm -hmm. middle hair a uh, black hair uh, middle black hair big eyes and white white color he always wear sari is uh, uh, in the film she uh, when during uh, while he uh, she act acts uh, is it correct ma while she acts he using different types of she wears different types of garment or costume but i like Uh, the sari uh, sari is uh, very much suits her. Sari suits, yeah. Sari suits. Uh, uh, yeah. Much on her, yes. Okay. Sari yeah, suits yeah. on her. You can say sari suits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She wears different kind of uh, dresses, but uh -huh. sari you like the most. Sari suits yeah. on her. Okay. Yeah. So here and there, while speaking, you were just mixing he and she. So I was also confused. Yeah, yeah. He or he or is he or is yeah, yeah. a she. So you can be a little mindful and attentive to while speaking that I am talking about he or I am talking about she. So you can do the deliberate practice of the same thing that explain about your kid, explain about your son, explain about your husband, and explain about your any uh, family member, close friend. any a uh, famous personality any motivational speaker any famous podcaster there are a lot of people nowadays that you can talk about so that like this you will be able to improve you will be able to talk about that he and she particularly and very clearly okay so oh, yes 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 yes, yes ma'am yeah uh, there is a word poised have you heard the word poised Uh, tell me the spelling, ma'am. That is in the chat Poised. box. P O I S. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, I didn't hear that. Poison. I I heard. I heard poison. No, no. I didn't hear the word poised. 
Yes. So poised means calm and composed. Very calm and composed while talking to somebody, Sorry. delivering the speech on stage. So you can say she keeps a poised demeanor while delivering uh, the speech on stage. Or you can say she captivated the audience by her poised demeanor on stage while delivering the speech. So poised is calm and composed. She was very calm and composed. Demeanor is the next next word, D-E-M-E-A-N-O-R. Demeanor. Demeanor is your outer behavior. So when you are presenting yourself on stage or maybe in front of the big audience or maybe over a call like this, again, when you, how you are presenting yourself. If you are very confident, it means you are, again, uh, keeping a confident demeanor. If you are very nervous, that shows that you are nervous. So that is poised demeanor, very nice. You can learn in chunk, that is poised demeanor. It means you yeah. showed on stage, you are calm and composed demeanor that inside maybe you were a little nervous, maybe you had the fear or maybe you were doubting, but outside in front of the audience, you kept the poised demeanor that you're calm, composed and confident while delivering your speech. Okay, so these are the two new words I guess we have learned. Poised demeanor and very nice one. Uh, which you can use especially when you are talking about a famous personality basically because uh, the person you talked about uh, must be giving speeches as she has won a lot of uh, awards as you shared so maybe she has already that poise calm and composed demeanor or maybe she keeps that when she goes on stage when she receives the awards and when she gives the you know uh, speeches over stage so you can use for those people okay Sometimes I perform well. Sometimes uh, today I am a little bit nervous. I don't know what happened. Uh, oh, my. Uh, People feel confident. And, uh, nothing. Uh, I, 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 my mind goes blank sometimes. Blank, blank. Sometimes happens. Sometimes happens, yeah. I also feel sometimes, sometimes I feel too, I speak too much and I share even very great tips. Sometimes I speak very, like, less. And Sometimes uh, all the words are coming to your mind in a just like a water, flow like a water. But sometimes no, nothing is coming to your mind, and your uh, sentences are broken into pieces, broke into pieces. Correct, man, or break into pieces? Yeah, break into pieces. Because break present, down. past, everything is mixed. Sometimes <laughs> we are confused. Everything Sometimes we but yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Can you, uh, yeah, tell me, uh, uh, watching movies, can watching movies also enhance our yeah, language? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you get my question? Yes, watching movies. One second, ma'am. Can watching movies also enhance our language skills? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Watching movies also enhance your, enhance. Uh, language skills. Our, yeah, language yeah. Okay. How? I watch movies, ma'am. I watch English movies, hmm. English series. Uh, yeah, everything I watch. Why are you not looking at me? <laughs> Don't say ghost to you, tell me. I'm not skeptical <laughs> about myself. Like, why she's not looking at me? <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy talking I'm to think, you. I am thinking, ma'am, uh, which sentence or which uh, words I, are. I used English. to do so that. I am, yeah. That's a habit formation. So. I I just deliberately started doing that practically. Like, okay, look at the speaker, look at the listener. Because I used to do the same. When I was taking sessions with the tutors, they used to say the same thing. You are looking here yeah. and there. Why are you not looking at me and all that? But then, yeah, I also try to remember the things. At that time, it was difficult for me to remember. Now yeah. it is in me because I'm talking to people every single day so the the you know information is already on my tongue maybe i don't struggle to find information i don't struggle to find words that's why it is easy to maintain eye contact when you struggle to find information the memory the word then you look here and there right mm, i understand oh, yeah. because i it happened with me already so <laughs> yeah <laughs> how it feels yes okay anything that you want to ask uh 
can you tell me your family about your family about my family mm, okay yeah. uh, in my family uh, there are my parents mother father my grandmother and i have we are four like i have three siblings so we are four uh, my elder sister yes. is uh, married and she lives far and we all three lives we all three live here like, like no my brother also lives outside she lives in the city uh, actually i am from a village here so she he lives sorry he lives in the city mm-hmm. we live here in the village yes so uh, you are the second one ma'am no? second yes. child oh. yeah yeah i am the second one mm. so yeah everyone talks about my marriage now like uh, when okay. we <laughs> for that and also my aunts especially my aunts i have to keep the answer parents so. always concerned about that parents mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes yes but yeah still uh, there is a time still i'm just working on my career first so they also want me that they yeah. feel like if she has already struggled a lot she has uh, studied a lot so let her make her career first if she wants to focus on that so let her give some little more time and then we will discuss yeah. uh, think about that so that's i guess privilege how old are, how old are you ma'am how old are you 26 how old are you ma'am 26 yeah that's why they are concerned <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, you like it looks like 20 25 hmm. uh yeah the, anything that you want to discuss still can you share some synonyms of happy happy elight exhilarated Excellent. delight delighted glad delighted content yeah. yes uh yeah can you wait a minute i have an urgent work right now so that's why i just uh, uh stopped and uh, for that i just want to end the session up right here can you hear me okay okay yeah, yes, yeah. yes i can hear you i can hear you yeah. i want to tell you at the okay, end okay. that it was really lovely talking to you I didn't even realize how how time flew. I was enjoy talking to you. It was just normal, but yeah, very I also, conversation. Yeah. I I also uh, same thing, ma'am. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me such a great opportunity to talk with you. Oh, well, thank well, you so much. My honor to have you here. Thank you so much for connecting to me. Bye bye. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.